Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's 52 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam, so keep up the hard work, you're doing really, really well. Today we're going to be focused on the topic of negative indices. So we've looked previously at your square numbers, your cube numbers, and different indices. Now we're going to look at what happens whenever that power is negative. So for instance, if you've got 5 to the power of negative 1, or you've got 6 to the power of negative 2, and so on. And also we're going to be looking at whenever the power is 0. So in this video, we're going to look at negative indices. There's going to be lots of questions for you to try, so feel free to press pause and try those questions as you go through the video. So in this video, we're going to look at negative indices, so let's get started. So in negative indices, this is part of the code mouse revision card, and I'll come to that in a second, but we'll have a look at this pattern to begin with. So here we've got 5 cubed. That means 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5, and 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 again will be 125. So 5 cubed is 125. 5 squared, well, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 to the power of 1, that's just 5. And as you can see here, we've got 5 cubed, 5 squared, 5 to the power of 1. You can see each time I'm decreasing the power by 1. So then it's 5 to the power of 0, 5 to the power of negative 1, 5 to the power of negative 2, and so on. Now let's have a look at our answers and see if there's a pattern. So to get from 125 to 25, we divide by 5. So we divide by 5, and that would give us 25. If we divide by 5 again, that gives us 5. If we divide by 5 again, it'll give us whatever 5 to the power of 0 is. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. And that gives us that 5 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So that means that any number, apart from 0, to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So x to the power of 0 is equal to 1, as long as x isn't 0. Okay, next, to find out what 5 to the power of negative 1 would be, well, let's divide by 5 again, so divide by 5. Well, 1 divided by 5, that would be 0.2, or as a fraction, 1 over 5. And then if we divide by 5 again, that will give us what 5 to the power of negative 2 would be. So if you take a fifth and you divide that by 5, you get 0.04, or 125th. And that gives us that 5 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 over 25. Now this is really useful for us because actually there's a pattern that we can spot here. If we have 5 to the power of negative 1, that's equal to 1 over 5 to the power of 1 because 5 to the power of 1 is 5. And if we had 5 to the power of negative 2, that's equal to 1 over 5 squared because 5 squared is 25. So if you've got a negative power, if you just do 1 over the number with the positive power, then you can then work out your answer. So if you have a negative power here, if we have x to the power of negative n, that's the same as 1 over x to the power of n. So if you've got a negative power, you can just do 1 over and then change the power to a positive. So you have 1 over x to the power of n. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of examples, and I'm going to do these ones for you, and then on the next slide, I've got some for you to try yourself. So our first question says to work out 2 to the power of negative 3. So because we've got a negative power, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 1 over, and then I'm going to make the power positive, so that'll be 2 cubed. And 2 cubed is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 again is 8. So that'll be 1 over 8. So 2 to the power of negative 3 is equal to an 8th. And now our next one, we've got 10 to the power of negative 2. Well, here again, because we've got a negative power, we're going to do 1 over the positive power, so 1 over 10 squared, and 10 squared is 100, so that's 1 over 100, or 100th. So that's it. And that's it, so that's a negative indices. So here's a couple of questions for you to try now yourself. Can you please work out 2 to the power of negative 4, and can you work out 11 to the power of negative 2? So feel free to pause the video and to try these two questions now. So if we had 2 to the power of negative 4, because it's got a negative power, I'm going to put 1 over, and then I'm just going to write it as a positive power, so 2 to the power of 4. And now I just need to work out what 2 to the power of 4 is. So that would be 1 over, and that's 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So 2 to the power of negative 4 would be equal to 1 over 16. And that's it. Here we had 11 to the power of negative 2. So 11 to the power of negative 2. That would be equal to 1 over 11 with the positive power. So that would be 11 squared. And 11 squared is 121. So the answer would be 1 over 121. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at negative indices. So whenever you get a negative index or a negative power, what you do is you do 1 over the positive power. So for instance, if you had 5 to the power of negative 2, you'd write 1 over 5 squared. And then 5 squared is 25, so the answer would be 1 over 25. Also remember, if you've got a power of 0, that anything to the power of 0, except for 0, is equal to 1. So if you've got 10 to the power of 0, that's equal to 1. If you've got 100 to the power of 0, that's equal to 1, and so on. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at negative indices, we've looked at whenever the power is 0, and hopefully you found this video useful. Now, I quite like this topic. I think it's one of those ones where if you practice your negative indices, you can get quite good at these uh, questions. So I highly recommend having a look at the practice questions as well, and I'll put a link to those in the description below. So as I said, there's 52 days to go to your GCSE Mavs exam. Keep up the hard work. You're doing incredibly well. Believe in yourself. You can do this. Keep at it, and you're going to do really well. Cheers. Bye.